Let's see if you can see Sapphire. Can you see Sapphire? Hey, Sapphire. Hello, baby. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Sapphire. Look how big she's got. Oh, it's okay. I won't stretch out. This is Sapphire. And I'm going to be cleaning her enclosure first. So in the interim, I'll just put her down in this spare 40 gallon. It's just for a minute, baby. So that I can get in here and clean. Let me show you the 40 gallon. This is just a 40 gallon spare that I have down here. So this 40 gallon breeder is just going to keep her safe while I clean out her enclosure. And I'm cleaning out her enclosure for a specific reason. Because there's two major things I'm going to do. I'm going to add a whole nother level to her tank so she'll have twice as much space to walk around. But I'm also going to add some isopods. And what the isopods are going to do is help break down the waste. They're actually going to be a very important function in, in, in creating an ecosystem inside her. And I have to pick the isopods very carefully because I don't want her to eat them. So I think I'm going to go with some dwarf isopods. But first, I'm going to feed her. Let me get her food. Okay, so right now, she's out here in the limelight. I'm just going to show you, uh, this is what Sapphire eats. She eats uh, grain-free dog food. Put the camera. Here you go, baby. I usually spoon feed her, but she's in stranger surround. Oh, yeah, she likes it. You don't need the spoon, just that. Isn't she a doll? Oh, my God, I love her. All right, let's get started cleaning. I want to get the glass on here. I want to get this top. Pull out some of these. In that corner back there is where she poops. This was not set up to be bioactive. I'm going to set it up to be bioactive today. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me. It's Susie Q. Hey. Let's get cleaning. I might put this on time lapse to see how that looks. So I've pulled all out her fake plants. The reason why I, she has a lot of fake plants is that she she travels underground a lot so all these are going in the bathtub to get washed this is normally what i use to scrub the hard parts but when this is done it's going to have vinegar and water in it and then i will rinse it with water and then i'm going to get these glass and i think there's some spider webs up here Not these all spiders. now down here there's two bulbs there's her uvb bulb which runs the entire length. There's a heat bulb back here for her basking. So she has everything. I'm gonna add some more water in here to keep this moist. And then I'm gonna add some uh, soil. We already have some bark. And I got some sphagnum. I just like saying sphagnum. And what I'll do is add some of this moist sphagnum all over. And the moist sphagnum one is a good start. And for two, when I put the isopods in, I wanna make sure that they have everything they need. And I got some dirt. This happens to be Sahara. Even though she does not need Sahara, she could have the, the moisture one. She gets a lot of moisture in this tank anyway. Kind of mix it around a little bit. I keep a little spot here for, uh, for her dish. Let's go. The leaf litter, I'm going to mix it in for the isopods. Then I'm going to get water. Okay, I'm also going to be using some of this eco earth it's just um coconut fiber they have come in all different companies make them i don't have one preference over the other i'm adding rodi water only because she lives in this it's not like she's walking on it she's more going to be going underground and traveling through it so i'm just going to let it sit there you go oh. see her blue tongue <laughs> You're so silly. That's silly. Now, what do we do every time we touch a reptile? Wash your hands. See on top here? Mm -hmm. That's a third eye. So don't put anything on top of her head because she gets scared. She got little feet. She got little tiny feet. She's a cutie pie. She is a cutie pie and I love her. 
right now I'm starting with, I'm adding soil to the bottom. I'm adding all different kind of mixtures of sphagnum and coconut fiber and leaves because I'm gonna put some isopods. So we're gonna take a look at the isopods that I'm gonna put in here. And later on in the spring, this is gonna get built up to another level up here. So there'll be a whole nother cooler level up here. So it'll give her more cause she loves to explore. She's not a big climber, but if it's gradual, she'll climb all day long. But she also likes to live underground. Let's see if I can show you what I'm doing. In here is that coconut fiber but it's too much water. So I'm gonna, like a sponge, I'm just gonna squeeze it out. Just like that. So there's no water that squeezes out. It's moist, but it's like it's dry. So now I'm gonna mix it in. Now keep in mind, I already have sphagnum in here, the soil, the leaf litter, I'm just going to mix it around. Perfect. Now let's get some isopods. I made little homes for my isopods up here. I have two dwarf whites. I'm going to use them both for a couple reasons. One, I like them. They propagate really nice. And for two, I'm trying to get something that the skink won't be interested in eating something that tiny. Let's see. See how tiny they are? I'll let the camera focus. They're very tiny. And I'm gonna be very gentle because there's so, so, oh, there's so many in here. This is gonna be good. So I'm actually gonna use this whole container inside her enclosure. I'm gonna keep these to the side for now since they got lots on there. And these, I'm just gonna knock in there. Now that that's there, I'm gonna put these back up. Then I'm gonna put sapphires decorations back up. Look at how much nicer. So those plants and flowers, just so you know, they're fake. They're only there for my, my purposes. Sapphire could care less about them. Now these on the other hand, she loves to use them, whether she just likes scratching on them or she uses them as for cover and hiding. Can't tell what the reason is, but she likes walking underneath them and through them. So these stay. And I keep this going like this. So when she comes out her cave here, she's hidden. If she is up here, she can be hidden. I'll move this back a little bit because this is for her food dish. I'll put the water dish back up. I'm missing a hide. Oh, I put it in the temporary. Like I said, she loves going through these, going over, underneath. So she likes to hide inside there. This gives her lots of cover. Anything to make her feel safe, I'm down for it. Here we go, how's that? Here we go. Now I'm gonna see how she likes it. I'm gonna put her back in there. And now keep in mind, there's got lots and in the back over here is where she always pooped. So I think putting the isopods there is perfect. Hey, baby. She is my gentle giant. Hey, Sapphire. I'm looking for a boy for her. I need a male northern, about two years old. I don't even care if they just have a couple play dates in this. Oh, look at her. This is going to be so cool. Can you still see her? She's right there. And then, I should have done that first. All right, baby, now you explore. I'll probably put the time-lapse thing on. I think she likes it very much. She'll love digging through it. But I really appreciate you coming along while I
fix up Sapphire's enclosure.